So yoga nidra is not sleeping. It is not concentration. It is opening the inner chambers of your mind. In yoga nidra, you step down into the internal dimensions of your consciousness. Even if you do not understand anything in yoga nidra, it does not matter. The sound of my voice acts as a rope. Just as you take a rope and go in and out of the depths of a cave, so with the help of sound, you will venture in and out of the mind. So get ready for yoga nidra. Eyes are closed and the body is still. The mind is in a mood to relax. You are not trying to concentrate. Make no efforts to control the mind. Your body is still. The sound of your breath is very rhythmic and slow. Your body is in a state of relaxation. Now think mentally, I am going to practice yoga nidra. I am listening to the instructions. A constant communication is taking place between the instructor and myself. I can hear the sound of his voice and we are connected, one transmitter and many receivers. At this point, remember that a sankalpa has to be made. The sankalpa is a resolution. Today I will suggest, I am grateful that my spirit is growing stronger and stronger and shining brighter and brighter. I am grateful that my spirit is growing stronger and stronger and shining brighter and brighter. I am grateful that my spirit is growing stronger and stronger and shining brighter and brighter. So keep on listening to me and keep on doing the practices I indicate. No concentration, please. Do not try to analyze things. Become aware of your right hand thumb and mentally say right hand thumb. No movement. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Now bring your awareness to the left side of the body. Become aware of the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Next, go to the back side of the body, back of the head, back of the neck, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock and left buttock, right heel, left heel. Now go to the front side of the body, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrows, left eyebrows, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, the whole nose, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, both lips together, the chin, neck, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, 
middle of the chest, navel, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm, the whole of the head, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Next, become aware of the body lying on the floor. There is a point where the body is in contact with the floor. Bring your awareness to that particular point of contact. The heels and the floor. Both the heels are on the floor and there is a point where they touch the floor. Now from the top of the body, the head and the floor, the back and the floor, the right hand and the floor, the left hand and the floor, the right elbow and the floor, the left elbow and the floor, the buttocks and the floor, the hamstrings and the floor, the heels and the floor. Imagine the meeting points of the body and the floor, the whole body and the floor. The body is on the floor. Become aware of the whole body. Do not contract and do not expand. Now just imagine in your mind that the body is becoming very heavy. Awaken the idea of heaviness in the body. Gradually feel that the body is becoming heavier and heavier. The head is becoming heavy. The right palm is heavy. The left palm is heavy. Both arms and the shoulders are heavy. The back is heavy. The buttocks and the groin are heavy. The right thigh is heavy. The left thigh is heavy. Both the kneecaps are heavy. Both legs are heavy. Both arms are heavy. The whole head is heavy. The eyes are heavy. The lips are heavy. The whole body is heavy. Keep on thinking that the whole body is heavy. Intensify the feeling of heaviness. Then gradually start to relax part by part. Now feel the whole body becoming lighter and lighter. The head is light, so light that it can even rise from the floor. The right and left palms are becoming lighter. Both arms and both shoulders are light. The back is light. The buttocks and groin are light. The right thigh is light. The left thigh is light. The right heel and the left heel are light. The whole body is light and weightless. When your body becomes weightless, you feel as if it is rising from the floor, as if your whole body is a mass of cotton. Cotton represents lightness and steel represents heaviness. Now practice these two experiences alternately. The whole body is steel. The whole body is steel. There are no bones, marrow, or blood, just a steel frame. Change the idea. The whole body is cotton. The whole body is as light as cotton. There are no bones, marrow, or blood. Everything is composed of cotton. The whole body is as light as cotton. Again, change the idea. The whole body is like steel, heavy steel, no bone, marrow, or blood. The whole body is as heavy as steel. Change the idea. The whole body is as light as cotton. Feel as if the body was composed of cotton. Cotton is so light it can rise up from the floor. Now change the idea to heat. Imagine you are near a burning furnace and you feel intense heat. Now the whole body should experience the heat of a blazing furnace, of the hot tropical sun. Awaken the experience of heat as vividly as possible. Now change the experience. The whole body is experiencing the cold winds that blow from the snowy mountains. The same cold one feels in a deep freezer. The experience of cold, 
awaken the experience of cold. Now bring your mind to the eyebrow center. Do not leave that point until I tell you to. I will enumerate a few objects and as I name each one, try to visualize it very quickly. If you cannot, don't worry. Keep on following my instructions. Sometimes I will go very slowly and sometimes very fast. I will also come back to the image a number of times. Some of the images may be known to you, but do not think too much. The image should shine by itself. So bring your awareness to the eyebrow center. Start to imagine darkness, a pink rose, waves on the ocean, blue sky in the evening, dark night, tiny shining stars studded in the heavens, high mountain range with snow-capped peaks, a ship sailing on the high seas, white sandy beach, virgin forest with tall and dense trees, a dove, a galloping horse, a small hut in the woods, burning fire in the bush, stormy night, full moon, mountain stream, a lonely rock in the mountains, a big garden of blooming flowers, rising sun, Keep your awareness focused at the eyebrow center. Visualize a large lake with lotus flowers, a sailing boat, people swimming, a lonely wooden hut in the mountains, a desolate valley, a high mountain with snow-capped peaks, a quiet evening, beautiful sunset, chirping birds, tiger in the forest, Elephant, cobra, symbol of Om, sound of a bell ringing, waves on the ocean, ship at sail, full moon, calm and quiet evening in the moonlit valley, mountain stream, refreshing cold bath in the mountain stream, experience of exhilaration, Come back to the middle of the eyebrows again. Visualize the rising sun, red like a tomato. Clouds gathering in the sky, drizzling rain, fog all around, pink rose, sunflower, apple, lettuce leaf, hot water spring, tall pine tree, cluster of grapes, symbol of Om, lonely wooden hut in the valley, snow-capped peaks, a mountain stream, a cold bath, ship at seal on the sea, lotus on a lake, people swimming, Now to complete the practice, become aware of the whole body. Think that I am practicing yoga nidra. Visualize your whole body. Become aware of the external environment and become aware of yourself. Say to yourself, I am practicing yoga nidra. Next, repeat your sankalpa three times. I am grateful that my spirit is growing stronger and stronger and shining brighter and brighter. I am grateful that my spirit is growing stronger and stronger and shining brighter and brighter. I am grateful that my spirit is growing stronger and stronger and shining brighter and brighter. So anchoring in that seat of light. Then become aware of your external environment, finding yourself deeply grounded and deeply centered within your physical body. Start to slowly come out of the spirit of yoga nidra and return to normal awareness. Open your eyes and slowly sit up. Haryom Tatsat.
Hariyom Tatsat. Hariyom Tatsat. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. We have all been blessed by this process.